The family is heartbroken. It happened just before 10 last night in an apartment building in the 3400 block of Dickens Avenue. A stray bullet came through the window. Police are still investigating, but they believe two groups of men were shooting at each other in the street when it happened. This is just a repeat of last week. Just a couple of hours later, around midnight in the 6600 block of Southwood, yet another young girl shot inside her home, this time an eight-year-old. Are our children safe? in vehicles, our children safe in their own home. Police say a bullet came in through the window and grazed her head while she was sitting on the couch. Luckily, she is in fair condition at Comer Children's Hospital. When you see, like I said, a toddler getting killed, when you see a 10 year old getting killed, it's an outrage. At a small vigil tonight, activist Raul Montez Jr. called for the federal government to step in. We need immediate attention. Like I said, we need Congress, we need our president to intervene now because the police can't handle this by themselves. While there's no magic fix, some say the community needs to get more involved. But speaking up after kids are killed would require trust. One of the things Chicago can do right now that will help is if we could get this homicide clearance rate reduced. But that's almost impossible because we don't have a witness protection program that people take seriously. According to an investigation by the Chicago Sun-Times in 2019, 152 murder cases were closed without Chicago police ever making an arrest. The biggest deterrent for a potential killer pulling the trigger is the fear of getting caught. Well, tens of thousands of dollars have been offered this weekend to anyone who can help police find out who killed these children. The money might not be enough for people to come forward. It's just about a me, myself, and I. Self-preservation. Back in April, Mayor Lori Lightfoot announced she would be giving $7.5 million to Chicago area nonprofits that are working to decrease violence in a lot of these neighborhoods. Yesterday, the mayor tweeted she is sick and tired of burying our children.